It's so great to see uh, a proponent of raw food get grilled. Oh, <laughs> that was delicious. It was delicious. Um, a little bit of sadness uh, happened back in January. On the very same day, the actor that played Reuben Kincaid from The Partridge Family and the actor that played The Professor on Gilligan's Island, they both died January 16th. So I guess, you know, the 9-11 truth movement is vindicated. <laughs> Uh, there's an announcement of a new Star Wars movie coming out, which is, which is very exciting. Uh, it's coming out like in six years or whatever it is, but it's coming out down the road. I'm very excited to see it. Obviously, I haven't seen anything yet. Uh, speaking of something else that I'm excited to see that I haven't yet seen uh, is Transformers 4. Um, no, wait, not Transformers 4. Uh, the results of my gonorrhea test. Sorry, that's my <laughs> Results of my gonorrhea test. Yeah, I always confuse those two. Um, and finally, uh, Former keynote speaker Neil deGrasse Tyson had his show, Cosmos, a Space Time Odyssey. Woo! How awesome is that? How awesome is that? Now, it was called the Space Time Odyssey. Originally, it was going to be subtitled, Let's Piss Off Some Fundamentalists, <laughs> which I think is a better title. I don't know. Um, you can't really blame you know, the re religious right for getting upset at, at the science or not understanding the science and the math. Because you got to remember, you know, these are people that count Friday night to Sunday morning as three days. So, you know, the math is not really their thing. Although, you know, I have to say, uh, the surviving members of the Monkees reunited this year. So, take that, Darwin. Are you guys ready for TAM 2014? Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Please welcome to the stage the president of the JRF, DJ Grothy. Welcome everyone, it is my great pleasure to invite you to another amazing meeting, Amazing Meeting 2014. Uh, right before I came up, we were uh, crunching the numbers, I want to share with you the demographics, the great turnout we've had this year. We have 1,038 attendees this year and 23 countries from around the world represented. Including, and I'll mention this because when I mentioned it last year, someone said, well, I'm also from there, but I didn't put it in my registration, so maybe this will grow as the weekend goes. United Arab Emirates, Australia, Belgium, there's a big Australian contingent, Belgium, Brazil, Canada, there are two Canadians here, <laughs> Germany, Denmark, Finland, Ireland, India, Italy, Japan, Macau, Norway, New Zealand, Russia, South Africa, Sweden, Switzerland, and the UK. Hong Kong. So, to our international attendees, welcome. <laughs> I'm always amazed at the attendance of the year, and I always have some surprises. My favorite surprise so far this year is that in the registration line yesterday, I bumped into someone I went to Bible college with oh. 20 years ago. Whoa. So that was a certain uh, homecoming or a, a sort of fun college reunion. His name's Matt Hargis. Please embarrass him the next four days while you see him. Ask him uh, for all the crazy stories of the apocalyptic cult we were in 20 years ago. <laughs> so, uh, before um, I introduce our principal sponsor this year, I just want to thank uh, a few of the folks who have come together to really make this event what it is. Uh, so many people are at the event this year at no cost to them because of the generosity of donors who have helped provide grants, including I want to acknowledge Brian Walker, who helped upward of 20 educators attend wow. TAM this year for uh, no cost to them. Uh, Brian Walker, thank you. <laughs> Sarah Mayfield did fundraising on her own to provide for the uh, registrations for a number of rising stars. So talk to her at her table and thank you, Sarah. <laughs> and something that really every 
here uh, sort of gets me uh, going is that the members of our online community, the JREF Forum, uh, 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 the rabble rousing group online love to argue and debate like a couple skeptics do, and uh, they come together every year, pool their resources, and pay for the registrations of many people. And uh, I think 26 people this year were able to come who otherwise wouldn't be able to afford it because of the generosity of the TAM for Thank you guys. <laughs> During your four days, please get to know our staff. Go by our uh, table and look at our uh, uh, recent developments with our educational programs and various projects. Say thanks to our staff who have been working insane hours to put on this great event for you. And uh, although he scolded me not to do this, I want to uh, give special attention to Thomas Donnelly, my partner of 10 years, who sort of wrangled this whole thing together this year. So Thomas, who's not here, he's busy, uh, be sure to say thanks to Thomas. Thank you, Thomas. We've had a lot of sponsors who have helped make this happen. Uh, I want to thank you, uh, thank the John W. Carson Foundation, the Richard Dawkins Foundation for Reason and Science, Australian Skeptics, the Committee for Skeptical Inquiry, Foundation Beyond Belief, Independent Investigations Group, the IIG, the Institute for Science and Human Values, the New York City Skeptics, the Secular Coalition for America, the Secular Student Alliance, the Skeptic Inc. Network, the Skeptic's Guide to the Universe, the greatest podcast out there on these issues. Now, lots of folks are here because of them this year. I, I uh, also want to thank Etching Expressions. You'll hear more about them throughout the four days from stage here. Uh, but they've uh, very generously worked with us to provide all of our speakers a very special gift you'll hear about uh, as the weekend progresses. But thank you to all of those sponsors, exhibit exhibitors, and the people tabling, thank you. And last but not least, before I bring up our principal sponsor, I want to let everyone know that for the first time in the history of TAM, we're happy to provide Wi-Fi for all attendees in this room. Woo! Find it if you search for it, it's TAM Wi-Fi. And if you're tweeting, be sure to use the hashtag, hashtag TAM2014. Now, it is my pleasure uh, uh, to bring to the stage uh, a partner with us for so many years, really from the beginning of the James Randi Educational Foundation. Uh, the official magazine of The Amazing Meeting is Skeptic Magazine. And when the foundation was just getting going, Michael Shermer uh, gave so much help to get the outfit going. Uh, and he's uh, and his team are involved with the store this year. So please join me in welcoming to the stage Tam's uh, principal sponsor this year, Michael Sherman.